So welcome back. We are looking at our third approach to default reasoning and that is called default logic. It was devised by Ray Rita. Instead of minimizing predicates which close word assumption and circumscription does, Rita's default logic allows us to make some positive assumptions. So, a knowledge base considered to be a default theory is made up of two parts. The first are the theory F and a default set of default rules D essentially. A dis default rule is of this form. It has three constituents. One is a prerequisite alpha, one is a justification beta and the third is a conclusion delta also known as assumption. So, this delta is the assumption that we are allowed to make. We can believe delta if one believes alpha and it is consistent that beta. What do we mean by consistent that beta? Is that one does not believe negation of beta. This is the general theme that we had spoken of earlier remember. So, this delta is basically the assumption. So, this positive assumptions that we are saying that under certain conditions you can make this positive assumptions. So, let us talk about Tweety again. The fact that Tweety can fly or birds can fly is expressed in this as follows that if Tweety is a bird and it is consistent that Tweety can fly then Tweety can fly. This is called a normal rule and we often write it directly without writing the justification because the justification is the conclusion itself essentially that if, if the conclusion is consistent then go ahead and make it. These are not FOL rules, they apply only to individuals. So, if we write something like this with a variable, it is just a short form we are using for writing all the rules for all the individuals. So, what can we believe in default logic? So, given a knowledge base which is made up of the uh, first order theory and the default rules, we define an extension as a set of consistent beliefs and what are the elements of that extension? All those, all those sentences pi belong to this extension. If the union of the first order theory and the set of all assumptions delta such that they are based on a default rule of which delta is the conclusion and that should be there in the default theory. Alpha should be there in the extension and not beta should not be there in the extension. This is as per the definition. So, if you can infer pi from there, then you can add pi to the extension. It belongs to the set of consistent beliefs. So, this whole thing which is the set that we are defining, we can think of this as a set of default assumptions one can make and then we can abbreviate our definition to say that the first order theory and the assumptions and if you can derive from there, then it belongs to the extension. So, observe that alpha has to be in epsilon and not in the first order theory. This means that if you make a default assumption, then you can make another default assumption based on that if there is a default rule in which that is the prerequisite. So, look at this uh, theory, this our problem in which uh, chili cannot fly and PT and chili are birds. Then this will have a unique extension in which Tweety can fly. That is because Tweety is the only individual in which bird Tweety belongs to F and not fly Tweety does not belong to epsilon. And Chili is another individual, but there the not fly Chili belongs to the extension. So, this one has a unique extension. We can have ambiguity in default logic as well as we had seen earlier when we were looking at taxonomies. So, it is the same example that we considered then. So, the first other theory talks about Republicans and Quakers and the default rules say that Quakers are pacifists and Republicans are not pacifists. Then the 
knowledge base has two extensions one in which uh, x is a pacifist and one in which x is not a pacifist essentially or dick rather a skeptical reason reasoner like we said will believe only something which is common to all extensions and a credulous reasoner would believe a sentence if it is in any extension so that's as we had studied this idea of extensions when we were looking at taxonomies as well we can get around ambiguity by adding exceptions to rules and we do that as follows that we say that if x is a quaker and it is consistent that x is a pacifist and x is not political then it must be x must be a pacifist applies only to those quakers who are not politically active this approach can be cumbersome we can do the same with birds so we can add the fact that if x is not a penguin then x can fly but then we would have had to add other exceptions and so this whole thing does not very really work out very neatly essentially so we'll take a break and we'll look at one last approach to default reasoning which is called autoepistemic reasoning <laughs>